Dear friends, as we are moving forward in the practice of the virtues during this Lenten season, today let us look into the virtue of restitution. Restitution signifies an act of justice by which an exact reparation as far as possible is made for an injury that has been done to another. This obligation is identical with that put forth by the seventh commandment. You shall not steal. A real Christian conversion is materialized and made concrete by restitution. In Bible, there is a clear evidence of a person who substantiated his conversion through restitution. Do you know who would it be? Yes, and that is Zacchaeus, whom we meet in the Gospel of Luke chapter 19. Zacchaeus repented and his sincerity was evident in his immediate desire to make a restitution. Here was a man who was penitent and contrite and the proof of his faith in Christ was his resolution to atone as much as possible for the past sins. The same holds true for anyone who truly knows Christ today. Genuine repentance leads to a desire to redress wrongs or correct them. When someone becomes a Christian, evil have a desire born of deep conviction to do good and that includes making restoration whenever possible. The idea of whenever possible is crucially important to remember. There are some crimes and sins for which there is no adequate restitution. In such instances, a Christian should make some form of restitution that demonstrates repentance, but at the same time does not need to feel guilty about the inability to make full restitution. Therefore, dear friends, during this Lenten season, if we have hurt someone through our words or deeds, let us first ask forgiveness and reparation as far as possible about the damage done. May God bless every one of us abundantly.